morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 22. Schooled, recorded. <laughs> Looks like the puppy's awake. Hello, we were up at 5 a.m. together this morning. Hi, buddy. You wanna go outside? Hi. Oh, good morning. Hey, Dad, what are you up to? Um, just pull out of my garage to get my vaccine. I can't believe you're getting the vaccine. This is so crazy. She's off to teach her virtual yoga class downstairs. Peace on Earth, Christmas yoga shirt. Have fun. She's doing my journal right now. Freddie's asleep. The pup's asleep. We're all here. A lot of people ask for me to show how I fill in my planner every day. So here's today's. Now on to this page. Wanna go see mama while she's teaching her yoga class? Should we go say hi? I think we should. Hey, you just woke up from a long nap. Ah! It's a beautiful day. Let's go potty and then we'll go say hi to mom. We come out here a lot together. <laughs> Also, update on my mood. If you guys watched yesterday's video, I was literally wearing this exact same outfit, but I was really comfortable. I was in the weirdest mood and I couldn't understand why, and then I kind of read more into the winter solstice and the great conjunction and everything just kind of going on and just my own emotions. And I really feel like 10 times better today. I, I think it was just really good to kind of release everything and set my goals for next year. And I don't know. Yesterday was heavy, let's put it down. Today's a new day. Yeah, the sun is out, I'm very thankful for that. It's so crazy how it's a whole new day and you have so many more new opportunities to just make it better. Do you wanna go say hi to mom? She's teaching right there. She's teaching, she, that's her, she's right there. I think let's go say hi. Come here. Oh. <laughs> she's laughing. <laughs> That's mama. She's doing breath work. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. That's right. Oh, is he getting to go? And now inhale deep. Hold the breath. Exhale the breath. And then release. Excellent, excellent. <sighs> Allow yourself to switch legs and take a peek in between of this one. I know. <laughs> oh, if that doesn't fill your spirit. Is that a vaccinated guy? You have proof here? Woo! Exciting stuff. I'm so excited for you. So you have to get another in four weeks? Yeah. Woo! Well, I'm getting the Moderna vaccine. Here it goes. I don't even feel it. And beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, my pleasure. I love giving shots. So that clip you guys just saw was my dad getting vaccinated. And like, I'm so thankful that since he's a healthcare worker and he's a doctor, he was able to get the chance to get one. I am so thankful. I am like, I just wanted to share this moment with you guys and he literally like put on his doctor's shirt and like had them film it so I could put it in this vlog to kind of, you know, sh share with you guys. And I just, I like get so emotional about it because it's so crazy. You know, how far we've come since March, we've still got a long way to go, but like, holy crap, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, update, he's napping. I was doing some computer work, eating leftover lasagna for lunch. 
Um, and I'm gonna put on the movie The Holiday Calendar. I'm just having a very chill morning. It's now 1.30, but um, yeah. I wanna spend as much time as I can with him and it's kinda nice just to be lazy and literally wear what I wore yesterday, but we'll be doing more soon. <laughs> First time leaving the house today. Dad came by. We're going to take the little guy to the juice place because they all know us there because we're literally there every day. Like yesterday when we were there, they were like, your mom was just here and she asked if any of you have been there yet today. Like we literally go all the time. Um, so we're going because they know all about the pup and I thought it'd be a nice surprise if they meet him and he's sitting on a little pee pad because I like this set and I don't want it to get soiled personally. They fell in love with him. <laughs> I'm glad we brought him in. Got juices, took ginger shots too while holding him. It's pretty iconic if I do say so myself. All right, boys. I'm gonna go work out. Rooker. Let's go Rooker. We're thinking Rooker. I'm thinking Coach then. Coach is good. Rooker. Rookie. Rooker sounds like a good concept. Rooker. I like it. It's like three Rooker Island. It's like a rookie in football. It's cute. Alrighty, so finally getting off the couch. I've literally been chilling on the couch all day with him, just doing things. Gonna go do a little 30 minute workout wearing this set from Set Active. Hey, Rooker. I like Rooker. That's cute. Dad, I like your mug. Yes. She believed she could, so she did. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. We love to see it's it. It's a COVID baby. <laughs> All right. Gonna do a quick little 30 minute spin workout. Grabbing the speaker. Oh. Woo. Let's get after it, boys and girls. <laughs> We're gonna do some SoundCloud vibes today. I'm thinking of playing um, this remix, or I don't know. I'm gonna start with this. This is always such a good warm up song. Here we go. Alright, just did a little warm up. I haven't listened to the Big Booty remix in a while and I feel as if I'm gonna just spin to this remix and there's a ton of different like speeds in it so I can do sprints when the beat drops and then I can also do um, like, you know, presses and pushes and all the things because there's like so many different speeds. So this is volume 17, Big Booty remix. It's literally so good. It's an hour long now so <coughs> we're not gonna do the whole thing. All right, here we go. Another great sweaty workout. I did about, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes on the bike and then did arms. I stayed on the bike for that. So I like to try and film, but also when I'm like in the zone and on the bike, I don't wanna like get on and off to like turn on the camera. It doesn't, doesn't flow very well. Um, I'm gonna put these guys away. That was just like such a good little sweat sesh. I actually, one of the songs, I ended up not, I spun to like 10 minutes of the Big Booty remix and then I just like get bored easily. So then I um, spun to Body by Megan Thee Stallion. It was so much fun, it was like body yaddy. It was like a good one, two, one, two. I did like a press and then a tap back and it was so much fun. <laughs> so um, yeah, what else did I spin to? Oh, I also, I never, this was kind of a slower song, but I spun to Mary Posa. Mariposa, it's like, I can't wait for you. You know that song. It was a fun little sesh. Now I need a shower, but I think we're gonna give good old puppy Rooker Finley Costa his first bath. He's all sleepy. It might be good for his bath. I hope he likes it. Oh, thank you for the kiss. All right, his first bath. Oh yeah, that's comfortable. Should we just like introduce him to it? We have some oatmeal shampoo for him. Oh, here a little shampoo on the head. All right. Yeah. You've bathed babies before. I know. I know, I know. That's a good boy. Yes. He's drinking it. Oh, there you go. It's filtered. <laughs> that's a good boy. Oh. It's a good boy. We took him outside. He did a couple of shake, shake, shakes. You're nice and clean. That's a good boy. He was really good during yes, that. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. You're glad to have that. 
poo off your butt. Yeah, he had lots of poo on his booty. Yay! He's a good boy. Guys, we got him a little chi dog hair set. Like, is this not the cutest thing? My dad's like, do you really have to get the chi one? I was like, yes. This is the only one that had a ton of different, like, bristles. He seems to like this one the best because doodles are known to get mats and then you have to shave them and then they're not as cute. So we're gonna make sure that he's all good. are so immaculate <laughs> in my room right now it's pretty much golden hour i'd say i want to set up my um apothic white vetiver um reed diffuser i think that this is going to make my place smell so good and i haven't gotten a chance honestly the box is just so pretty on its own the beautiful bottle right here and oh, I love the scent of vetiver. Like it is so chic. All right, here we go. Let the scent start to diffuse. These things actually work. Give it like a day and your room smells like what you asked for. And I'm gonna save this guy in the back so I can bring it to Athens with me. If anyone is curious what the scent white vetiver smells like, here it is. Cashmere, eucalyptus, and lilac are entwined with earthy vetiver, sandalwood, amber, and cedarwood to form a sultry fragrance. It's definitely very sultry. It's not like super night outy, but it's definitely, I don't know. It is just something else. If you guys know the scent of vetiver, you know. All right, hello all. We're doing my makeup, and I mean, you guys have seen my makeup routine a ton of times. My Kindle just dropped. <laughs> um, I thought, okay, so first I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer, by the way. I thought I would do a little update since yesterday. I posted that vlog just saying, you know, I'm in a funk. It is crazy how much just like one day can change. Like it's so true. Like sometimes when I'm in a bad mood, I'm kind of like, all right, Danielle, well, tomorrow's a new day. And a lot of the times, like, yeah, you still feel some of the emotions, but I personally feel like a lot of the times the next morning, you just kind of forget about everything at first and then you set your tone for the day um, in a different way because you have a different mindset. You woke up, you had sleep, hopefully. Um, I love this stuff. This is the hourglass foundation stick um but yeah so i woke up this morning without a pit in my stomach no really anxiousness whatever it was the best and i'm so thankful for that and i really think a part of it a lot of you guys said you know the great conjunction winter solstice whatever you want to call it um well those are two different things were yesterday and i think there was just a lot of energy shifting in the universe at the time and you know everyone believes different things but i really do believe that the vibes were just off yesterday there was just a lot not even the vibes were off there was just a lot going on in the world yesterday and i just feel like it was affecting me i'm a very empathetic person so i can feel other people's emotions and today's um our third full day with the puppy and we're definitely getting like a hang of everything and he's just an absolute gem and i he just brings me so much joy and i can tell he brings my family so much joy so it's definitely you know we're getting used to that and like every day i just get more and more close with him because obviously when you first get a puppy it's like oh my god i'm so excited but you really don't know the puppy like it's not like it's your newborn it's your child it like came out of you that sounds weird but you know what i mean like i'm gonna love him more and more every day which is like so crazy to think about but so exciting um and i started my morning with my like doing well daily journal and writing what i'm grateful for and some affirmations and i feel like it was just a good start today i also started i watched two christmas movies because i was just like listening to my body and my body was just like hey sit there with the cute pup while he takes his fifth nap of the day and just you know enjoy because i haven't had time to watch christmas movies with finals and everything so i watched christmas with the cranks and then i watched the holiday calendar on netflix um both very good and just got me in like the holiday spirit so i think like the journaling especially really really helped obviously sleep but journaling was like a huge thing for me and i'm gonna journal again i think tonight and just kind of 
write down those same intentions that I want to set. I kind of did release everything. I don't really want to bring those things back up unless I feel like it's still in me and I need to write them down again to release. But I just want to like, if you guys are curious, some of the um, manifestations I wrote down. I'm going to do probably like a goals for the new year video. I don't really know what I'm going to do. We're going to do a podcast episode, I know for sure, on it. <sighs> some of the stuff I wrote down, one was like, obviously this coming year I'm going to graduate. Like this year, well, once it turns January 1st, like I am graduating college. I will never go to school again as far as that's the plan right now. Maybe I'll go to grad school eventually if I'm like feeling it. That's crazy to think about. And I have a lot of nervousness about it and... It's a scary thing, but I just kind of let go of all that. And I was just like, this year will go how it's meant to be. Clearly, we all had a plan for this past year and it did not go as planned. And you just have to learn to go with the flow. If anything, this year taught me I grew a lot and I also learned how to go with the flow. Being a planner, being the type of person I am, it doesn't always, you know, work that way. And you have to learn to roll with the punches and, you know, just kind of go with what's you know thrown at you really so um i'm definitely gonna be working on that a lot in 2021 and starting now obviously but you know as a whole this is um benefit penitent um because you know i'm graduating in may and you know obviously the vaccines are starting to come out so exciting my dad got one but like obviously things aren't just gonna like change right away I want to move to New York City. I'm going to move to New York City. I mean, that I'm for certain. Unless some crazy experience or opportunity comes my way and I, like, can't go to New York City. But, like, right away. But I will be in New York City. Like, I just, like, feel as if I will be there this year. Or 2021. Um, but I'm not in any rush, you know? I want to, like, come home for the summer. I want to be with this puppy. I, I don't know what the traveling situation is. I'm just going to kind of roll with the punches. And this year is going to be a very transformational year because I'm also like obviously in a relationship right now and obviously all I want is for us to you know be in the same city together and everything to work out and I think it had the possibility to um we have a really strong relationship we're literally going to be two years in March but like I do like freak out about that sometimes and like long distance isn't my favorite and it's not his either um but I'm just like letting go of that and just learning to enjoy the ride live it out and we'll just see how it goes like obviously like my one thing i get annoyed when people are like just go with the flow i'm like okay well you can go with the flow but you also need to like kind of try and kind of plan things and so obviously i'm not gonna just be a lazy bum and just like let life happen no but you know i'll put in my little efforts my efforts that i feel willing to and then just kind of let it go from there and if it feels forced if something doesn't feel like it's the right time or it's not right like i'll really just listen to my intuition and listen to my body and you know go with that but yeah i don't know it's crazy and I, it's so it's so weird too like if any of you guys are seniors like when you're starting to either get jobs or decide where you're gonna move or whatever i'm starting to get like texts from people at college and high school like hey like i heard you're going to new york city like you're looking for a roommate or like i want friends there and it's like holy crap like we're literally like this is happening and i'm so excited like i'm not like scared I'm more so just like, wow, like I'm about to be like an adult adult. I'm also like, holy crap, I have to figure out an area I want to live. Like I love Chelsea. Like I don't know why I love Chelsea, that area. Um, I would really enjoy that. I know a lot of people that just graduate, go, uh, move to Murray Hill area. It's kind of more near Midtown. I love Midtown. Even though like I've been tons of times, it's like the locals don't like it. Like there is some little magic and excitement about it for sure. Um, and then I love um obviously soho area but that's like so expensive and i like the east and west village but i kind of i don't know i kind of like the high rise vibe so we'll see we'll see these are all just things i'm saying and talking about that i thought you guys would want to hear my thoughts on because i know i get questions already like what's what are you doing next what are you doing next you know um it's kind of crazy also kombucha and a wine glass is such a I'm wanting to um, like get dressed and get ready and take a photo in the golden hour because I've been loving like golden hour photos recently. They just hit different, I feel. Um, I've been doing this lip liner trick a lot. Some people don't like it and they're telling me, but oh no, where's the cap? But I really like it and I think it also works for me because I have kind of naturally bigger lips, I guess you could say. So um, it kind of works, but basically I just overline my lips because a lot of people on my one of my videos were like did you get lip fillers i'm like i'm honored but no um and this is by the brand house laboratories 
It's just like a nudish pink lip liner. All right, so we did the lip liner portion. And then I just kind of take my fingers. I just overline a little bit. I don't like to overline too much. Um, but I think the reason it looks so natural and looks like you potentially got your, you know, your lips done is because you're not filling in the middle part of your lips. And then I've just been using this Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and just putting it on all over. Also, I don't have my bedroom lights on right now. I do that a lot, actually. I love the natural light, but it is starting to get dark in here. So, yeah, I didn't overline as much as I usually do today, actually, but... Oh, the sun's still out. Okay. Right. Freddie's well, here, so I'm kind of like, Freddie, you want to help me take a pic? Freddie, come down with me. Come take a picture. I can't do it. I'm on Facebook. He can watch. <laughs> the amount of times I bribe my brother to get Instagram. Guys, <gasps> it's so nice out. This is a little outfit I put on. Kind of doesn't match, but it's okay. The golden hour is just like good for selfies. Follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. I've just been really into fashion, so any chance I get to like show an outfit or inspire someone, I just like to. Okay, so it's like almost not golden hour now. <laughs> um, oh, it feels so nice out. Let's see what I can do here. <laughs> this is just stupid at this point. This is behind the scenes. I'm gonna attempt to set up. See, but yeah, no. Self timers are sometimes a win, but in this case, I don't think it is. It's okay. This is me going with the flow. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> if anyone's wondering, these are the photos I got out of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I I don't know. I, yeah, no. Mm -mm. It's okay. I just wanted to try. <gasps> oh, the pop da. I guess I'll come back down with you guys. Look at that brother and dog. <laughs> All right, you guys, the sun just set. It's absolutely beautiful. Gonna pour a little bit more kombucha in my wine glass and vibe out. My mom's making chicken parm. Oh, well, not my mom, my mom's boyfriend. He's the chef, but yeah. Cheers, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas. I love you guys so much. Vlogmas is coming to an end, but it's okay. It'll be next year, too, and obviously I post all the time. But, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow for my next video. Bye-bye.